What's up guys, Matt Hospitaller, prospecting geologist here. Um, getting back to doing some more educational type videos dealing with, you know, geology, prospecting, LIDAR, and other things. Um, but for this one, we are going to be talking about what I consider the best app for using your phone in the field while prospecting for like mapping and documenting samples and everything. And that app would be Touch GIS here. Um, so let's get to it. Okay, so Touch GIS here is a, I think it's an iOS only app. So if you have Android, sorry, I'm hoping they do come out with an Android one. Right now, Touch GIS is iOS only. And basically it allows you to do some very awesome field mapping and documenting stuff um, while out prospecting. And if you overlay LiDAR and other maps, uh, it lets you see where you are in the field, even if you don't have service. So, I mean, we're, our, the project we're going to work on is in Virginia. Um, where are we? Da -da -da -da. And right now, I mean, the, so we're going to overlay LiDAR to this. So some of the nice things about it you need service for these, for the various maps. Um, where are they? So you can pull up various maps. So there's a bunch of different base layers you can use, but you'll generally need service for all these various base layers when you're in the field. If you don't have service, they're going to be blurry and you're not really going to be able to see anything. Um, though you will be able to see your GPS location dot on the map. Um, but what we're going to start with here is basically how you go about overlaying LiDAR into these. Um, so we'll close out of this real quick. And I generally use Google Drive to then to get the LiDAR map to my phone. And for this type here, LiDAR overlay will have to be in a TIFF format. Okay. So we go to Google Drive here, and this is where I usually upload them to. And... Uh, or get them to my phone through. And this map will have to be in a .tiff format, which would mean it's gonna be a geotiff, so it has all the spatial data in there. But basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on this dot over here, and then you're gonna go down to open in. It'll take a little bit, it's gotta export all that information into it. And then it's gonna, you're gonna come up to this and you gotta go all the way over to more then down to touch GIS here. For some reason it shows up on the bottom. Then it's gonna ask which uh, one you wanted in. This is gonna be going to the U2's test, YouTube test. So we'll put it in the master project folder for that. It's gonna take a little bit to get itself into there. Imports complete. Sometimes it crashes and you gotta reopen it like that. So you reopen it, YouTube test, and voila there is your LiDAR overlay on this. Now that since you've imported it into Touch GIS here, if you're at any of these stream locations or anywhere in here, even if you don't have service, this LiDAR will show up like this and as will your GPS location dot. So you can get pretty accurate and see where you are on this map then at all times when you're in the field. Um, and to go from here now, there's a bunch of different mapping stuff you can do with it. Um, so basically there's a bunch of different, where are we? Don't want those. Why don't I remember? You can do strike and dip of stuff, which most people aren't going to care about. You can do an observation and then you can pick geology or basic. Um, close. And then this plus button over here is going to give you a bunch of different points. And you can, there's a number of other areas you can change here, but basically you can put an observation point in and it's going to go wherever you have this. So say you're working on this stream here and you're panning right on this straight away between two beds. You can go place point. Voila, the point is placed. Now, other things you can do with it. So you click on that, you can rename it. And then you can also type in a bunch of description information and everything, like how much you found and all that type of stuff. Then you can also pull from your 
you can either take a picture in the field, right, of it, or you can pull from your saved photos and everything. So you can literally like map what you have right there. Um, so now let's go into an, an example where some of this stuff is already up. Um, this one here. So right now, the LiDAR is not overlaying, but you can go into here. It's already in here. Click on that, and I just have it as the layer opacity. So there. But now when I was in the field here doing this work, it punched in all these dots from various dredge holes and stuff. So you can add descriptions to it as well as that one does not have it. Where's my picture one? And you can add pictures and such like that's what I got at that location. Um, so that is basically how like the very basics of touch GIS and how to take a LIDAR or other map files that are in a GeoTIFF format, including geologic maps. If you can get them in the GeoTIFF format, you can then import them into touch GIS here and get them over lane um, and be able to use them in the field with no cell service, which is amazing for a lot of the stuff us prospectors do out in the middle of nowhere. And as you can see, once again, I love LiDAR and all the detail it shows. Um, if you're interested in LiDAR files for your area or anything, please get in contact with me and I can help you with that. Like, look, there's some sort of, I think this is a manganese or iron mine right there. Um, and you can see the shafts and various prospects and cuts and stuff for it. Um, in here without that so that's a manganese mine you can see the big disturbance there and everything right here but without without that layer let's go back this if we take away this layer i hate that it zoomed out but basically you would never be able to see that because that was off over in here and it's just buried in the woods so um, if you have a, if you have an iOS device and you're out mapping and doing prospecting in the field and you want to use LiDAR and everything to see where you are, uh, you can't beat touch GIS. And I will be hopefully starting to provide some, some of these, to, some of these LiDAR maps for like the CVGP claims and other ones to purchase on my website to then be used through this app. Um, okay. Okay, so here is a more fleshed out example of what I'm talking about using the Touch GIS app in conjunction with a LiDAR overlay. This is one that I've been working on for a while. These are samples that I've taken all over the place here. Um, but what you can see is basically green is like good gold, red is no gold, yellow is maybe one or two colors. Um, but what it allows you to do then is like you can click on this sample 18 and you can then you can put in a description so center creek tip of shovel hit decomposing bedrock approximately 10 specs some with visible angular character um, it has the date and time and then you can also you can have a picture in there and you can see so maybe you can see it but there's like 10 little tiny itty bitty specs there um, so it really allows you to document each of your samples and everything or you can even map like overall larger features like you see this big oblong brown area this is actually a um, this part of the hill here had abundant quartz float in the whole area and I collected a sample a sample from the tree a tree ball there that had it uh, had some nice looking quartz in it um, so you can see uh, you can do all these various samples you can really see where you are on the stream too because this actually pretty much represents the active stream channel and everything so like i can tell when i'm on one of these bends almost perfectly even without the uh gps dot for my location on here but yeah so you, can, you can map those general trends there's also where to go you see this green line here this is actually a dike so there's a large dike that goes through here that i mapped um but you can just see the usefulness of this and you can just map the properties you are interested in and have access to 
in very incredible detail and you can get an idea of like what areas you want to focus on so as you start to add more color and stuff to this like wherever there's green or a couple greens around each other are going to be areas you want to focus on um so those are just some things to think about with this uh definitely a very powerful tool for in the field you can use it without service and you can map your finds and create your own gold map of your properties. So yeah, just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use Touch GIS, the very, very basics of it, and how to import uh, GeoTIFF LiDAR maps into it. Uh, thanks, and please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll be back with more.